I did art in school, like uh, just about everyone here, and uh, I hadn't done anything for maybe 20 odd years, so uh, it was just like a calling, really. Um, there was parts of me that needed to express itself, which you can't really do in like the outside kind of social world really it's not really structured for that for people in my position so it's a nice place to kind of express yourself and kind of let yourself go really that's what drew me to art so much and uh, and doing pottery and sculpture because you can you can put yourself into what you're creating so it's 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 like talking through your art really some things I can't talk about but I, I can create and I, uh, I really enjoy doing that because it's, um, it calms me, I think. When I first joined the studio, I tried to be an artiste and I painted delicate little flowers pansies and things. I've still got the first painting I ever did was of a wild pansy. And it's quite sweet. Quite naive, but it's quite sweet. Um, and then I went through a phase of, of just getting feelings out when I became quite ill. And my artwork was quite ne negative and dark. And a lot about being in a black place and in a black hole and a tunnel and all of this. And you can see as I work through that, the light started to come back into my work. In the last six to nine months, my art's taken on a totally new feel because I've become more expressive and I'm trying more things. But I know now that I'm able to push myself. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. You know, nobody will say, well, you failed. You know, it's well done, you've had a go, which I think is one of the biggest things you get from here. Because you're getting encouragement, you encourage other people. You know, like if this, if we get new people now coming in, I always remember how I felt. And as soon as you walk in the door, there's always somebody who will speak to you. It's better to have a go and not make it as to, to not try anymore, which is an easy thing to fall into when you've got mental health problems and you don't have the right kind of support. The art studio is an extension of my life because in many respects, if it wasn't for the art studio, I wouldn't be here. Uh, 10 years ago, I'd live for maybe a year, if that. It gave me a purpose in life. Uh, it gave me structure. Before I come here, I couldn't get a monkers. Uh, to me, it was an existence. Now it's life. Well, when I was at school, I used to love art and I wanted to go to college, but um, it wasn't feasible, you know, because we all had to go out and make a living and help help with the wages and all that coming in. And I've always, like, done crafty things. Even when I worked, I'd come home and I would, like, make, make cards and things like that, just as a way of, like, relaxing. And then coming here, it's, it was just like, um, oh, this is great. I'll just... Whatever they put on, I'll have a go. If I can do it, I'll do it. If I can't, I can't. But at least I'll have a try. God loves a trier. That's what they say. <laughs> <laughs> and I can be trying. <laughs> you kind of build your own structure here, which um, I think is the best thing, really. Um, there's, there seems to be a, a lot of places that you, you go for a, a certain amount of weeks and you, you you need to have achieved something by the end of it, where, where here you're at your own pace and uh, you, you, you have to kind of rebuild your life in in your own way because well, everyone's different, everyone comes here with different problems, so we all have a, a different uh, mix of what we need to kind of 
help us and uh, that's really what we do and we do that through art. There are very few places that I could have come that I could develop, learn some sort of mastery which always gives you a boost and not have to think about having personality disorder and all of the rest of it that goes with it, not being judged about that or, um, oh, she behaves like that because of that and that happened to her, you know. Obviously the staff all had my history, but nothing ever, you know, never ever talked about it or needed to, to put down anything I did to that fact. But it would always come back down to the art and what can you get stuck into and what projects and just encouraging you, um, you know, and to not judge yourself because uh, I find we all tend to judge ourselves far too much and, and not give ourselves credit. I like coming here because I feel safe. The atmosphere is calming and like I've made a few friends. I've known pretty much everybody, but I've managed to make a couple of close friends while I've been here. Um, I don't feel so isolated. We like a family here as well. We're all friends and we all kind of look after each other, really. Um, everyone has bad days. You know, even though we didn't talk about it that much, but just being around people that had mental health problems as well. And I think because we're all in the same kind of boat, Everybody understands each other and they kind of like know when to leave somebody alone and when to maybe try and help them. So if you were having a bad day and didn't really want to talk to anybody, it wasn't like anybody got offended or, you know, upset with you. To understand that you, you just need that time and then they'll just leave you alone. Let you come out of it if you like. We support each other and we we help each other out, even with heart, we help each other out. Um, um, there's, there's someone who's good at painting that helps me get ideas for that, and I, I help other people out when they're doing pottery, so it's we kind of share skills as well as problems at home. We, we talk about those, and that, that kind of helps as well. Is a community. Some poor bugger can be working away like mad and you interfere. Ah, <laughs> uh, hey, you're doing that wrong. Ah, uh, do it better this way. Ah, uh, ignore you completely. But that's not the point. You are taking part. Um, everyone here allows it. You're an artist, just being here. People who do a little fiddly thing with the ceramics, they are making something. And if you're making it, you can actually produce it. It goes in the kiln, comes out, you can repaint it, goes back in the kiln, comes back different colours. You have done that. Um, not someone else. You have done it. To me, that is important. Do your own thing, your own way, you're going to learn. I think last year, um, I'd been down in the uh, pottery area by myself every day, just making things. And then uh, a couple of the other artists came down and said, can you teach us how to do a bit of pottery? And I said, yes, and I sat down and I started teaching them the basics. And that's when I kind of realized that I was quite good at pottery really, and uh, it kind of reinforced everything. And it made me feel useful as well, just uh, just helping pass those skills on. They've made some beautiful things now, um, and I feel I feel good because I've helped kind of contribute to that. I like to see other people's work. Um, it encourages me. No try and copy it and I can't <laughs> uh, 
other people have tried to copy my work and haven't been able to. They've done it partially. Uh, I do the same. When I started, I, I really didn't think I could do anything at all. Um, I thought I was pretty useless at everything. So it's it's nice to have kind of found my place making something. But it's it's what we do here that kind of makes it the studio. I think it's it's the people that make the art, and we all uh, we're all artists together, really. So I think that's a nice thing. The folders I used to go was from my house to my mum's house and back again. But now I like come here, you know, and like I said, we'll go up the trips. Like I said, they don't force you to do it, but they just, they make it easier for you. Yeah. It's a safe place. And it's like a second home now. Special people as well. Best move I ever made. When I eventually come, because I could do my own thing. No one has to do, uh, you got to leave at this time, you got to leave at that time. Uh, I now have a major problem. I'm my wife's carer. So I do have a structure. If it wasn't this place, I wouldn't be able to do it. That's honest. This place, it has saved my life. It's contributed to having a new life worth living because I have lots of skills that I didn't have. I've also made a lot of friends here that I see away from here now. Um, so we're quite like-minded and through being here I have art. Um, we've just moved into a new house and we have a, an art come study room. And I probably expect that within the next year um, we'll probably take that jump to, to move on. I've got so many good memories from here, from trips we've been on, um, that I think I'll always have some sort of a link to here now that we found it. It's such a special place. <laughs>